Members of Wild Coast Ecological are part of the local Vancouver community and are frequent users of John Hendry Park. As such, we noticed the immediate need for restoration of Trout Lake. The riparian area surrounding the lake was dominated by invasive species, blackberry, flag iris, and reed canary grass, all of which expand substantially year over year. We knew that, if left alone long enough, these aggressive plants would eliminate the native flora, harming the overall health of the lake. Trout Lake is, in addition to being a vital community landmark, one of only three remaining lakes in the city of Vancouver, and it provides significant habitat to a number of species. We felt it was important to put effort into restoring the riparian area around the lake so it could retain its ecological integrity and continue to benefit people and the wildlife that inhabit that area. In 2018, we began project design in collaboration with several stakeholders. We partnered with the Vancouver Parks Board, who have been exceptional to work with and have provided considerable support for our project. By spring 2019, we had begun on-the-ground restoration. Our team removed invasive vegetation from 2,000 square meters of riparian area. The Parks Board provided an excavator to dig out the top layer of soil in some of the most infested areas. We did this to prevent invasive plants regrowing from the seed bank. The Parks Board was also able to remove the multiple tons of green waste that had accumulated during the restoration process. We hosted several volunteer events throughout the year to engage the public about the restoration work happening at the lake. In addition to getting people involved in regenerating their local green spaces, these events provide a unique opportunity, not only to teach the public about the value of these habitats, but also to provide a live demonstration of habitat restoration. Volunteers were also invited to assist in the building of nest boxes that would be installed at the restoration site in spring the following year. These boxes will provide additional nesting habitat for swallows and chickadees. The nest boxes are also a fun way to engage the community and teach them about the importance of habitat availability for wildlife in dense urban areas. Our largest volunteer event was in October 2019, with 30 members of the public participating in the planting of 360 native trees and shrubs, all in a single afternoon. These trees and shrubs will occupy the newly cleared riparian area around Trout Lake. They will one day provide significant food and shelter for birds and other animals, and help preserve biodiversity in this treasured urban wetland.